I'm exhausted of being treated as an option to people. I'm exhausted of I'm exhausted of feeling like an option to people. The inevitable truth, which I cannot escape from, which is that fundamentally I am absolutely meaningless. I feel my mind, my soul, the entirety of my consciousness, my heart pulling it to opposite directions. I wear designer clothes, I wear name brand things and materialistic things that I'm constantly having to surround myself with as such, you know, this hella nice house, it's cribs, brand new whip, brand new clothes, cigars, alcohol. Um A little bit of everything in my life. And uh, honestly, like nothing in my life. I have everything in my life. Except there's one thing that I'm absolutely missing, which is the key component of my completion. Something that completes, that should complete me. Fully, which is a uh, a sole companion of my life. All I'm missing is the key ingredient to unearthing, to unraveling the gateways of the soul consciousness within myself, which is a woman of my life. All right, a sole companion, an eternal lover, a romantic, monogamous relationship. Loneliness, lonely existences such as mine. And uh, inevitably, these are distractions. So it's just like I said, you know, I'm a lot more simplistic than people might like to believe or like to like to think that they know of me. These are just all these materialistic things and being like super flashy or whatever is just a distraction to myself in regards to myself in such a way that, you know, uh, I'm constantly having to confront my, my shadow self every day of my life. I'm sorry. I, I apologize for being... A bit negative in this video. I don't ever intend to be negative. I'm just brutally honest. I wear my heart on my sleeve and unapologetically me. I embrace my authentic, authentic self and my genuine emotions. And whenever I put myself out there, I put my voice out there into the universe. People think that I'm full of myself or I'm too emotional or, you know, Truth is, I'm just much too authentic and real for a lot of people to handle. I'm not everyone's cup of tea simply because I embrace myself, my authentic and my realness that we live inside of a matrix and a reality of a world that people don't quite vibe with anything real, authentic or genuine to yourself. And I'm just sick and exhausted in my life of being like sexually immortalized dehumanized people recognize you for your physical attractions instead of the internalized beauty the the gateways of the profound soul and the heart there's so much beauty endless amount of attraction within a person inside as well as outside anyone can look attractive outside you know like i said uh, being single I've been making an honest attempt at befriending others and getting to know people in my life. Not not to be like a player or a hoe or, or 
or whatever, because my intentions are clear. I'm a romantic at heart. So I'm trying to authentically get to know somebody to settle down with for the sake of a long-term, a serious relationship in my life. And, you know, at the same time, I'm working on healing within myself as well as I juggle the responsibility on my shoulders to be the best prime positive example of a positive role model, a positive influence, to be somebody optimistic, to be that mirror reflection outwards into the world externally and push that into the universe and transmute that energy from negative into positive and to be a a positive influence, inspiration to the world around me. There's so many people that just don't quite understand me. So instead of asking questions to get to know you, articulately like skin deep, they throw accusations, they throw rumors, they they try to throw shade and shots and disrespect. And, you know, they uh, try to invoke the stupid drama or sometimes beef out with you or simply put you on red or like ghosting or whatever. And it's sad to me that we live in such an artificial world where Honestly, like, you know, throw a little compliment to someone and God forbid that by being my authentic self that that deems me, you know, being placed on red or ghosted or blocked, you know, for saying like, what's up or sending a, a you know, cute little compliment, you know, just compliment somebody, you know, and, uh, There's so many people that don't quite know what they want out of life because they're so submerged in this materialistic social media fucking reality that they forgot who they, who and what they are. So they live for the purpose and gratification of the social media, you know, um, this self entitlement of feeling important or relevant. And I don't care for anything of that. I don't give a shit in the world for like materialistic things. Just like I said, I don't care for ego. I don't care for anything else. Uh, I'm here to stay. I'm here to say that what you think about me is your opinion. It's only validated in your own reality, in your in your own little existence, because that's all that your opinions will ever be a vitality of a reflection because your reflection is your perception, your perception internally within yourself, as well as externally what you think of others. That is your existence, your validation. You see, I don't care for any of that. All I care about is change the world for the positive and I've been bearing my pain for so long. At the same time, I've been working towards, like I said, healing. And I've I've been through enough heartbreaks and disappointments and disappointments that have led to tragedies. And, you know, 